What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right. So, uh, as we all know, Joel B of the Philadelphia 76ers became the first center in over 20 years to lead the NBA in scoring. All right. And uh, he finishes with a scoring average of 30.6 points per game. I'm assuming he's not playing tonight against the Detroit Pistons. Uh, I haven't checked to see if that's an official word. But I do know historically, I looked this up, historically he's averaged 28.6 points per game against the Detroit Pistons. So for all intents and purposes, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks season is over with. Giannis didn't play tonight. Uh, you know, uh, last I checked, uh, Durant doesn't qualify. LeBron's season is over with. It's Joel Embiid's scoring title. Uh, Shaq was the last center to lead the league in scoring. The 1999-2000 season. He averaged 29.7 points per game that season. Um, I saw an article reference how infrequently centers, especially the last maybe 20, 30 years, have led the league in scoring. There's one thing I want to dispute in this article, though, that I've, I've read. Uh, I'm going to put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below for you to read and to give me your thoughts. But in my opinion, I think that they're leaving out a player. They said that uh, when you look at the last few centers of Red League and scoring, they said Shaq, 2000, 95, and then before that, of course, the year before that prior, David Robinson, uh, on the basis of their 71-point explosion against the Clippers, the last game of the season, April 24th, 1994, he edged out Shaq 29.8 to 29.3. But they said the last center to lead the league in scoring before Dave Robinson was Krim Abdul Jabbar, 1971 72. I believe that year he averaged something like 34.8 points per game. Now, I, have, I, I disagree with this because you have to look at Bob McAdoo. Now, I know the article said something about true centers, and they're talking about individuals who always played the center position. But this is my caveat to that. Tim Duncan is listed as a power forward, although we all damn sure know well that for many games with the San Antonio Spurs, Tim Duncan was actually playing center. Okay? But he gets listed as a power forward. There were years when Bob McAdoo uh, was playing power forward, but with the Buffalo Braves, he was primarily playing the center position. Although there were at times when he would switch and maybe play unofficially the power, powerful position, depending upon the matchup. But he was officially listed as a center. He won three consecutive scoring titles between the 1973-74 season and the 1975-76 season. So in my opinion, I believe Bob McAdoo should be listed as a center when it comes to the scoring title. But I want to get your opinion on this. Those of you who are privy to Bob McAdoo, privy to the information, do you think that he should be listed as a center leading the league in scoring, or should he be listed as uh, maybe a power forward? Because I think he should be listed as a center because that's the position that he was listed as when he was playing with the, Buff the Buffalo Braves. Tell me what you guys think.